Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on the implementation of the Baslist tag into Google Tag Manager. Um, now in this video I'm going to take you through the implementation of the tag step by step uh, based on the manual that you got in the mail earlier. Um, now there are a few different steps we're going to take in the implementation. It's going to start with downloading the template file itself. Then we're going to import that into Google Tag Manager. Uh, we're going to create a tag and then configure both the configuration and the conversion tag. And then we're good to go to keep tracking your data even if uh, Google Analytics Universal is no longer tracking the data anymore. Now, let's start off with the first step, downloading the template. Um, now there's a download link here in the file and if you click that it will automatically start the download. Please double check if the extension on the file is actually TPL uh, so you know you have the right file. The next step is to open Google Tag Manager. Now then you see the menu on the left and if you go all the way to the bottom it says templates. Please click that. And now what you will see is at tag templates, you can either search in gallery or you can add a new one. Now, if you don't see any buttons here, it could be that you don't have all the rights you need uh, and all the authority that you need in order to create this. So please reach out to your admin um, and ask if you can get all the rights. So if you do see that button, please click new at tag templates. So new. And you will get this screen. Now, please go to the top right, press the three little points here, and please choose import. There you can pick the file that you just downloaded. It will import it, and it will also add some of the details. Now, all you have to do, you don't have to change anything here. All you have to do is press save. And you will get a little confirmation here that it worked. Now then you can close it with the little X icon. Right, so what we did now is we created the template um, and now it's time to take the next step which is to create the tags. So first we'll go to the menu to tags and in this case it's empty uh, so you can click new. Now there are three, uh, two options here. Uh, we can do tag configuration and we can add a few triggers. Now we're going to start off with the top one, tab, tag configuration. Now once you've clicked that, uh, you see different options there uh, and what you also see is here the added template of the Beslist event, which you can just click and then it's added. Um, now, in the email you received, there's also what we call the advertiser ID, and this is where you need to add that. So, for example, I will now just add one, two, three, four as a um, as an example. Um, now, in this stage, you can keep this at configuration, and it's important to also change the name here into, for example, this list conf configuration tag. Right. So. That's the first step. Now we have the tag and now of course it's important to add on when that tag is triggered. So what we're going to do is click trigger and it might very well be that you have a lot of options here and please look for the one that says all pages because we want to make sure that on all pages uh, the tag is being triggered. Uh, unless you have some specific other way of uh, ordering this, of course, uh, make sure it does fall within your own consent uh, form around cookies, etc. Um, but for this, for now, we'll do all pages. So once you've clicked that, you can go to the top corner, press save, and this step is done as well. Now for the next step, we're going to add the conversion tags as well. So again, if you're not still there, go to tags and click new. And again, we're going to start with tag configuration, bus list, 
again the advertising ID but this time make sure that this drop-down changes to conversion and now what we're gonna do is press this button with add row three different times so we can add the different param parameters on when it should be triggered so after you added the three rows <coughs> please go back to the manual because there's a description on the different values that need to be added there so these are the best list values and there's a description there on what they mean um, so make sure you copy them they're case sensitive so make sure they're all lowercase and that there's no extra spacing added or something uh, and you just copy those into the three rows so what we're going to do now is we're going to match these variables to the variables on your own website so for example value that says something on the revenue so it could be that the variable name on your website is revenue or transaction value or whatever and you can select that by going to this button where you can see all the variables for your website now to be clear this is a demo so i don't have all the uh, needed variables so i will just add event in this case um, but for you it will probably say something like transaction value or whatever uh, over here same goes for transaction id it could be order id something else and then including vat that's a, a more specific one which is also described here if the amount, meaning the value, is inclusive VAT, we have to add true, and if, it's exclude, uh, if it excludes VAT, it's false. So now let's say in this case all the revenue is tracked including VAT, so we just add true there, um, and that's it for this. Make sure you also name the tag. So in this case, it's a conversion tag. So let's say this list conversion tag, and we have the name here. So once we have that all set, and we can go to triggers. And in this case, what we want to choose is a specific event, which is the purchase event. Now, the name will vary for your specific web shop, but that's the actual completion of an order. So again, I don't have that in this specific demo either, of course, so I'll just add all pages. <coughs> but for you, it's likely that this will be an orange icon with an event uh, called purchase or order or whatever. Um, you have to check that out for yourself. Now, please double check if everything seems correct, right? You have the advertiser ID, it's conversion, conversion, the right three variables are there and this should say purchase event or now we press press save and we're all set we have the configuration tag and the conversion tag all set in google tag manager now now the last step is to make sure that you push these updates to the live environment um, if you go back to home or you don't even have to but there will be a button here which is send um, and if you press that, you can add a few things right on the version specifically. Press publish and the changes are live. Now that's it. Um, if you still have any problems or you don't have the advertiser ID or something else is going wrong, feel very free to reach out to your account manager. They can help you out. You can also just plan a meeting so you can do it together or they can access your Google Tag Manager and help you in that way as well. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, if not, good luck with the implementation of this tag.